Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. This is part two of our performance kit tutorial. And last week we added some bases using the Vengeance sample packs. So check this out. All right, so what I have here is a new group and I deleted these four samples over here and then I added two new samples. So we have C, A sharp, C, A sharp. All right, so we're gonna add some chords in these pads over here. So C minor, A sharp major, C minor, A sharp major. So, uh, so that we can keep the consistency with our other pads. So let's pick a pad and in your software, you can navigate through this. So we have the Vengeance sample pack collection. I'm gonna go into my synths folder and you could pick any folder that has chords in it. You could go through any samples, but uh, chords are kind of important in this specific step. So check this out. All right, so this chord D minor we can use any kind of minor chord because we can always tune it down because our root notes are C, A sharp, and C and A sharp. So let's pick this and let's drag the D minor on here. And now let's navigate to our pitch gate and change it from ADSR to, or one shot to ADSR. Bring down the release and then turn the volume down for the sound. All right, so here we have a C bass note and a D minor chord. So let's tune this down by two half steps to make it a C minor. So tune it down using this tune knob. All right, so we have a C minor chord and then a C bass note. And over here we need an A sharp major because the A sharp minor after a C minor does not sound good. So let's pick, uh, over here we have this D major. And this actually sounds like the same instrument all right, so let's pick this D major, place it on our 10th pad, and we want this to be an A sharp major. So we're gonna tune this down by four because from D to A sharp is minus four half steps. All right, let's change the type to ADSR and bring down the release a bit. And then bring down the volume for this pad. And then we have these other pads as well. All right, and over here, we need a C minor and an A sharp major again. So you could do the same technique with different samples and different chords, or you can duplicate your C minor over here, and then you can pitch that up by an octave. So plus 12 half steps. All right, and this A sharp over here, we can duplicate that to this pad. So we have C, C minor, A sharp, A sharp major, C, C minor, and then A sharp, A sharp major. And then this last A sharp, we can pitch it up an octave. So from minus four to eight. And we're gonna discuss training and practices in our coming tutorials. So you'll be able to perform like this if you keep following and practicing along. And um, you can also do something different, like pick a different sample. And let's say I pick a different sample over here. So we have this chord that I can drag. So let me just drag that to our 11th pad. And this is also tuned up an octave. So I'll tune it down.
All right, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more videos. And we will see you next time. Peace.